Good morning, students. Today, we're going to embark on a thrilling adventure into the world of adverbs. Now, I know what you're thinking, adverbs. How can they possibly be exciting? Well, buckle up because we're about to find out. Adverbs are the superheroes of the English language. They swoop in to save the day by adding extra information to our sentences. They tell us how, when, where, or to what extent an action is happening. To demonstrate their powers, let's dive into some examples. Speedily, Sarah ran speedily to catch the bus. How did Sarah run? Speedily. Cheerfully, the children sang cheerfully in the school choir. How did the children sing? Cheerfully. Yesterday, I went to the park yesterday. When did I go to the park? Yesterday. Here, please place your books here on the table. Where should the books be placed? Here. Very, the cake was very delicious. To what extent was the cake delicious? Very. See how adverbs add that extra oomph to our sentences. They're like the secret ingredient that makes our language more flavorful. Now let's play a little game to put our knowledge to the test. I'll give you a sentence and you have to come up with an adverb to complete it. Ready? Here we go. The dog wagged its tail B L N K. Hint. How did the dog wag its tail? Jason plays the guitar B L A N K. Hint. How does Jason play the guitar? The students will have a test B L A N K. Hint. When will the students have a test? She looked at the painting B L A N K. Hint. How did she look at the painting? The roller coaster went B L A N K fast. Hint. To what extent did the roller coaster go? The dog wagged its tail happily. Jason plays the guitar skillfully. The students will have a test tomorrow. She looked at the painting curiously. The roller coaster went incredibly fast. Well done, everyone. You've mastered the art of adverbs. Remember, adverbs are your trusty sidekicks in the English language, ready to make your sentences shine. So go forth, use them wisely, and let your words soar.